Hello everyone. I'm gonna be presenting an audio visual on how to determine the detection limit of an instrument. My name is Randy Akrofi and I'm a graduate teaching assistant at North Carolina ANT State University. So before we start, let's just get to familiarize ourselves with some terms that is associated with detection limit. So when we talk about detection limit, we are referring to the lowest quantity of a substance that can be distinguished from a blank solution with a stated confidence. And um, this simply means that you want to find out the minimum concentration of your analyte that can be recognized by your instrument. And detection limit is most often estimated from the mean and standard deviation of your blank solution. So when you have your mean and standard deviation of your blank solution, you can calculate the detection limit of any analytical instrument you are using. Now there are various types of detection limit and for this audiovisual presentation I'll be focusing on the instrument detection limit. Now when you run a sample most analytical instruments will produce a signal which is associated with the sample you have measured. Likewise, when you run a blank solution, these analytical instruments will also produce a signal or a noise that is as a result of the blank solution that you're running. So from the blank solution that you run, you can then calculate the detection limit of your instrument by finding the mean and then the standard deviation of the blank solution. So you run your blank solution for a couple of times, preferably from five to eight times. And so from the values that you obtain, you can calculate the mean and then the standard deviation of your blank solution. Then you insert it into the formula for calculating detection limit to find out the detection limit of that particular analytical instrument. And the formula is given as the mean of the blank solution plus three times the standard deviation of the blank solution. So this is an illustration to explain to you how to determine or how to calculate the detection limit, the instrument detection limit of a particular instrument. And with regards to this illustration, the UV visible spectrophotometer was used. The analyte here is copper and it's being measured in an ion sample. So you want to find out the concentration or the absorbance of copper in an ion sample. So in this case, your analyte is your copper and then your matrix is your pure ion solution. So you use the pure ion solution as your blank. So what was done was the blank solution, which is the pure ion solution, was run for five times. And then the respective absorbances, the absorbances is the signal or the noise that is produced. So the respective absorbances were then recorded. And from this recorded absorbances, you can calculate the mean and then the standard deviation. 
So after finding your mean and then your standard deviation, all you have to do is to insert it into the formula for calculating detection limit. And then you can find your detection limit. So for the illustration, our mean was 1.204. And then the obtained standard deviation was 1.456. So we insert these values into the detection limit formula. And then we find the detection limit to be 5.572. And so this value is the detection limit of the spectrophotometer with regards to the analyte that was being measured and that analyte was copper so you've been able to calculate or determine your detection limit of the analyte with regards to the spectrophotometer and after this process you can move ahead to find the actual absorbance of your samples now when you do this process there are some absorbances that you have to be zero this simply means that the concentration of the sample that you are measuring is so low it is below the detection limit of the instrument so the instrument is recording it at zero so when you are reporting you don't report at zero but you report as below detection limit because the concentration is so low that it can't be picked up or recognized by your instrument. I hope you all enjoyed this audiovisual presentation. See you later. Thank you.